I think as companies think about their investment portfolios, there are sort of two aspects they need to consider. The first one is to take a portfolio approach to investments. This means thinking about a whole series of investments rather than just a single large bet, which might in the end be wrong. The second thing is then how they explore those investments and take more of an iterative experimentation approach where you test and learn, you get explicit customer feedback and you see which technologies make more sense than others and then you can cut off those that don't deliver any value and accelerate the others where you believe there is a real opportunity. For a technology to be an enabler of business success, we need to see a pathway to real, tangible value. If you pursue technologies for technology's sake, they can become a real drag on business performance. I believe there are three lenses you can apply to establish that connection between a technology on one side and the business value on the other side. The three lenses are, in my view, desirability, so a real test to see whether a technology and the solution you create with that technology is desirable from a customer's or an employee's point of view. Does it really address a pain point? Does it meet a latent need? And can you see this technology being adopted at scale? The second test is feasibility. We have a technology, we're experimenting with it, but can you deliver it at scale, given the organization's capability, given some of the constraints you have in your environment. The third test is viability. So what is the specific value we generate and how does it relate to the investment we need to make? So does the value justify the investment? So one, one of the challenges we see is when clients are experimenting with technologies, they see some merit in it, they want to keep going. So one of the hardest decisions is to stop something, to say no, to put something on, on the parking lot. Um, that, you know, given some of the processes we have in, in companies, it's a very hard decision. So. What we are trying to establish with our clients is to adopt more of a venture capital mindset, to have a very clear set of stage gates with criteria by which you then assess progress and then applying them rigorously, which might mean in some instances you have to drop something.